what's up? It's your friend Stephen Finley back again like a bad rash. <laughs> um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos or you're new to the channel, as they like to say, welcome. On this channel, I talk about duck hunting and all the things I've learned, share adventures, and talk about more duck hunting and stuff like that. So recently, I had to go to Arkansas. That's where I hunt predominantly. I live in Alabama, mostly hunt Arkansas. I had to go to Arkansas to look at some new leases for next year. Um, last year, we only had one field. It's kind of late. We're kind of late in the game. This year, looks like we're gonna have three. I'm super excited about that. So if you've never done any of that, this may be helpful for you. If you have done a bunch of it, please give me your advice in the comments below. But also, my little four-year-old wanted to go. Got us a hotel room at the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. I think it's called Big Cypress Lodge or something. That place is super nice. So if you ever go through there and you have little ones or have some time, check that place out. It's pretty cool. kids will definitely remember it. So a couple things I was looking for from this particular trip out there. So one, I'm trying to find a ducky area. This particular area we are getting the leases in, I guess it's my 12th year hunting in Arkansas, but in that particular area, I know it's a good ducky area. Secondly, I'm trying to find leases as close to I can as a river, to, to a river system. Um, these particular leases are close to the Cash River, C-A-C-H-E, it's pronounced Cash, like Johnny Cash, for those of you that didn't know that, Cash River. It's close to the Cash River and Bayou de View, so it's kind of in between those. I think mallards particularly, but ducks in general use river systems. So, it's a couple things I was looking for. They have pits on them. I'm not a huge fan of pits. The fields are really big. I think one of them's like a 90 acre field, so what I'll probably do is do some pits, but also maybe do a skid blind. Also found this like slough area that was super cool. We we're trying to see if the guy would lease it to us. Not gonna happen. For you guys that have had done the leasing thing and all of that sort of stuff, I would love to know some ideas on, not necessarily how you manipulate the crop, but how do you set up the field? For example, if you have a field that's in rice and you have the pit in the middle, like I want to, roll the rice on the back, roll the rice on the front. That way we have some shooting lanes. I don't, I'm hoping the farmer won't roll all of it because I don't want it to look like a big lake. So, like I said, for you guys that hunt that kind of stuff, like drop some nuggets of wisdom for me in the comments. I read all the comments. It's pretty easy with like 140 subscribers. <laughs> so, um, and I'm not here to rack up subscribers. like. I'm doing this because I really love it. So um, anyway, I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the little B-roll montage. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next one.